Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. I pray that you had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. And I pray that you are grateful for everything in your life. It's so easy to be distracted and to focus on things that make us miserable, that make us unhappy or anxious. But I pray that uh, you spend some time just being grateful for the fact that you have family. We may not get along with them, but we have family and we love each other. And I just pray that you are thankful and you are grateful and that you are aware of all the many blessings in your life. In Jesus' name I pray. I got a short message for you today. Uh, we're coming off of Thanksgiving. We probably got our bellies full. We ate probably too much, right? Uh, but man, think about those people that didn't have anything to eat or don't have anyone that are on the street, you know, and I think that we don't think about these things often enough because I think that we choose to think about things that make us miserable. I mean, man, I know that we don't look at it like that. Who would want to think about something that would make us feel miserable, but we do it all the time. So I'm praying today that we hold our thoughts captive. In 2 Corinthians 10, 5, God tells us to hold our thoughts uh, under his obedience, to hold them captive under his obedience, which means, first of all, we have to be aware of what we're thinking about, right? So I pray today that you are aware of what you're thinking about. Be mindful of your thoughts. Think on purpose is what I say all the time. Think on things and, you know, I declare, I do something every morning. I say, I'm going to think on things that are good and pure and holy. I'm going to think about you, Lord, that you've never left me or forsaken me. I mean, I say things like this every day. Uh, and don't allow the things of the world to overtake you. Don't allow your feelings to tell you what you're going to say or do. And this is something that we have to do every day, y'all. You know, you can't take a break. You can't decide that you're not going to breathe today because you're tired. It just doesn't work that way. So I pray that you activate the Word of God in your life, that you hold on to His truth. His truth is the only truth. Not your truth, not your belief, not your tradition. It's His truth. The Word of God is what will determine your life. So let's follow it today, okay, in the name of Jesus. Ooh, honey, I'm on Apple Pie Road and... Uh, Empanada Highway, where you at? Holla.